this one I found him as in last video we have added the uh, cache system and in this video we will create our shop system so let's start before doing that we was facing a problem uh, that uh, the coins right uh, the correct amount of uh, cash was not updating into uh, our main menu and uh, so for solving this what we have did that I just deleted this cache UI from the uh, this hierarchy and I have created a prefab for this cache UI okay and then from level 1 we don't need this UI so we can delete this right away okay uh, now what we will do we will select er any, every bus like this we will select the bus then we will open the bus okay and then we will add a uh, because it is prefab so first we will open the bus then we will add player manager script onto this game object the bus and then we will also drag drop this cache ui on this bus purple okay so what will happen we will have cache ui inside the player itself so then we will select the player and then we will add the text field inside cache ui into this cache amount so what will happen now that uh, uh, when we play the game you will see the uh, that we can get coins so i already have tested this now you can see we have 1200 coins if we select more you will see that we are collecting more amount so also in main menu what we have did we will go to main menu uh, scenes and main menu and in from main menu we will also delete the that cache ui which we have added on uh, this section and because we are using the same buses here so with that buses we will get that ui as well okay so now if we play the game you will see that the right amount of coins or cash we will have here okay and also i have placed this play button here so next uh, process is to uh, make buy button functional so let's see how we'll do that so let's start so first of all we will create a custom script and this is called object oriented programming uh, because uh, uh, we are going to uh, create some blueprints for our buses so we will say bus blue print or any other name you can assign it's up to you and in object oriented programming we can create our own custom classes so here we will create a custom class for our buses and for custom class we will just delete the mono behavior so it's taking some time for visual studio okay so now what we will do that we will just delete this mono behavior and this is now our custom class so we'll delete uh, the functions we don't need these functions at all and we will add some bus properties so we can add public and we can say int or actually i will just add string first and we can assign a name to this secret uh, string also we can add public public int and we can name it index like this also we can add a price so public int and that will be price so now for make it uh, for showing it into another um, scripts we can make it system dot dot serializable okay so now we can use the script on another script 
So, the next thing we want is to initiate the script into shop manager. So, we will go to shop manager and here we will just say public and we will say game object and we will name it ok sorry not game object we want to initiate that script so we will name it so bus blueprint and then we will get buses from that blueprints ok so that is nice now if we go to our unity editor if we go to shop manager which is where it is which is on the bus holder so here you can see one more section and here we will add four and here you can see we have some elements in which we can add our properties okay so first bus first bus is i think uh, which bus is purple so here we will say purple bus or we can use the same name and index will be 0 and 0 will be price for the first bus. The second bus will be blue so blue bus and index will be 1 and price we can assign for example 1000. Uh, the third bus will be uh, green bus so we will add green bus and index will be 2 and price will be 2000 then we have a third bus fourth bus and that will be yellow bus so we can say yellow bus and index will be 3 and price will be 3000 so that's nice Okay, one more thing which uh, we want to add in blueprint is uh, a property of a pool. So here we will create one another variable. So we'll say public pool, and we can say is unlocked, and uh, yeah, that's nice. Now we can move back to shop major and here in start function we will uh, create a for each loop so here we can say that for each for each we will see uh, we will say bus blueprints and we will say bus in buses okay which we have created the um, here to print buses so for this what we want to do we will say if sorry if bus dot price we are getting the price is equal to 0 then we want car bus where it is bus dot is locked is unlocked equal to true ok so now we will add a else statement and else statement will be a little bit complicated we will say that bus sorry with my typing bus dot is unlocked is equal to player prefab dot get int
and then we are getting the integer which will be uh, which will be bus dot name bus dot name and comma zero equal to zero and we will add question mark sign here and we will say that if it is the case then it will be false otherwise it will be true so that's nice so now if we test it out you will see that the first car will be unlocked because it's on zero index and uh, with a uh, and the price is not needed and the other cars will be I think I will make maximize on play inactive and now if you will see you will see that first car should be unlocked here you can see is unlocked true and the other cars are still locked I will uh, assign a uh, public game object here and we can also add public button so because we are referencing the buy button now okay so button oh, oh hi. i'm making a mistake so because we didn't have added using unity engine unity engine dot ui so that was creating problem so now if we come here we can create a public button and we can name this button by button and now moving further we will create our main function of updating the ui okay so here after play game i'm just in the end i'm just creating a new function here so we can say void uh, update ui ui and in this function we will say bus blueprint and we are assigning b as a class and uh, we are saying that this is the actually the buses and from buses uh, we are getting current bus index okay which is the variable here on the top bus index so now after that we will create if statement and we will say if b dot is unlocked then what we want to do we want buy button dot game object dot set active sorry set active that active false and after that we will create else statement and in else statement we will say buy button dot game object dot set active will be true definitely true after that we will create another if statement and we will say that if b dot price is less than we will get player prefix dot get int and we are getting the int which we have saved in our uh, player manager which is cash actually okay so we will get this uh, variable here so here we will say cash
cache and then we will assign 0 by default. In this if statement we will say sorry we will say that pi button dot intractable will be true ok. So, if we have right amount in our cache then we will making it true ok. So, the intractable will be true otherwise we will make it false. So, we will say by button dot intractable will be false. like this. So, moving further we will I will just save this script and then uh, one more thing which we I will add here uh, before this if statement we will come here in else. So, what more we need we will say that by button because we want to change the text as well. So, we will say by button dot get component in children because uh, we have text in uh, not uh, the by button but it's in children of by button so that's why we are using get component in children and we are getting the component to text definitely okay and then we'll say that we sorry we will say dot text and then we will change the text. So, here we will say is equal to here we can say for example, by and then we will concatenate b dot price ok. So, that is nice. So, now I think uh, everything is fine for uh, this function and uh, now we will up uh, we will copy this function copy and we will add this function in update function. So, where is update function uh, we do not have any update function here. So, after start we can create a update function. So, let us add it void update and we can paste this function here ok. Moving further we will uh, what we will do that to ok. So, uh, yeah what we will do is that we will unlock the car now ok. So, we did not have added any function for the car itself. So, after this change previous let us add another function and uh, that will be uh, public wide public wide unlock unlock bus so that we should unlock the bus. So, yeah. in un unlock bus function what we will do uh, we will first of all get the blueprint bus blueprint and we will assign B to bus blueprint and we will say cars sorry buses and then we will get current bus index similar thing which we have added in another function. So, here we will say player prefab dot set int 
and we are going to set the int so we will say b dot name and we will assign name to one like this also we will say player prefabs dot set int and we will get selected bus which we have created a, uh, a variable uh, inside player prefabs so we'll say selected bus so you can recheck the name yeah the selected bus so that's nice and uh, here we will say current bus index ok so <coughs> after this uh, we will uh, again uh, say that b dot is unlocked is equal to true ok so we want to uh, make it unlocked also player prefab dot set int and here we are getting the cache definitely so the my uh, keyboard placement is little bit wrong as I am ill so I am working from bed so that's why you are facing little problem with my speed uh, the keyboard speed so flip prefabs dot get in and here we will say cache again and we will assign zero initially and then we want to minus the c dot price sorry b dot price so what's going on there that uh, if we click on the uh, buy button we should decrease the price uh, from our amount okay we should uh, decrease the amount from other uh, from our total income so now we will move uh, back to our what change previous and change next uh, functions and uh, where we are making the index current bus index is uh, true here after this we will create here the function bus blueprint and we will set that b is equal to buses and we will also copy the same thing current bus index here also we will say if is not uh, b dot is unlocked then what we want we want to return okay like this so that's nice the same function we will add in our previous button as well so copy this and uh, here after this line of code we will add this function so let's make it save and uh, yeah that's it I think so let's try this and let's see what will happen so now inside unity if we move back to our uh, where we are here and we want our bus holder yeah so shop manager is there so we will have buy button here okay you can see buy button so we will just select the buy button which is on where it is it is inside this and this is the buy button so select it and drag drop here in buy button section 
also we'll select the buy button and on buy button we will click a function here and we will add shop manager script here and from this function we will select shop manager and we will select unlock bus okay like this so let's try it so now if we play the game if we don't have error then that's nice and you can see first bus is free so we can't see any buy button okay and we have cash 1600 so if we go to next bus you can see buy button now and it is uh, active okay if we go next you can see buy button but it is inactive because we don't have much more cash for this okay so if we go here blue bus and if we click on buy you can see the buy button gone unfortunately cash didn't delete it but uh, we will check test it out anyhow we will play the game and hopefully the blue bus will be loaded and there is some non-convex mesh collider problem okay so this is not the problem related to our script anyhow here you can see our cache is removed 1000 is removed only 600 remaining and we have blue bus here so that's nice we our script is absolutely fine so for this error when you will get this error okay whenever uh, then you can click on this and you will find this type of errors so if we click on this you will see that we will be uh, directed to that component because we are not on level one so that's why we can't see that uh, selection so we will go to scenes level one because this problem was coming from level one okay so now if we go, go to console and if we click this we still not seeing our error uh, section so don't worry we will play it again and let's see if we get the pause we get the problem yeah we get the problem so we'll click here now you can see we have problem with this wheel uh, wheel 3 in bus blue okay wheel 3 in bus blue and if we select this then we also have a driver problem so if we change this then nothing will happen because we are in gameplay mode okay so we know the problem so we will select the bus blue okay we will open it and then uh, after that we will select the wheel 3 I think this is also in prefab so we will open this prefab as well and then we will select wheel 3 and here actually we don't have any mesh collider so why we are facing problem ok let's move back and if we select wheel 3 yeah we have mesh collider here which is inside the prefab so we'll select it and we will make it convex okay so also we'll select the driver and we have mesh collider with the driver as well so we can click on convex as well so one more thing I will tell you that if you got these type of errors with regarding with non mesh colliders again and again now this problem is solved if we move back and if you play then hopefully we would not get this error so let's see one time and if we got the problem then yeah we didn't get the problem okay so that's nice so now uh, if you got this type of problems again and again definitely we have a lot of meshes here so then what you can do you can search for the models if we are using the bus pack okay in bus pack you have the meshes here okay so if you just select the mesh you will find the lot of things here but uh, if you open the mesh if you select any uh, sub parts you can see this also have a mesh render and uh, but these don't have mesh colliders so these mesh colliders are added in prefabs 
so if you go to prefab and if you open any prefab then you will find that in sub components you will find some mesh colliders here okay and any of the components so then if you find some mesh colliders you can make it convex okay or you can delete that mesh colliders and uh, change the that mesh colliders to bus uh, box colliders as well so we have successfully created a shop system in unity uh, i hope sh this video will be useful for you you can use the same technique in your games Me uh, we will meet in next video allah hafiz